Hi everyone, it's Brett here from Metropole. Well, they say to be wealthy, you have to find a way to make money in your sleep. And certainly with investments, that's the idea, to have that capital appreciation. One thing that I think gives property the edge is to look for an area or a suburb that is undergoing gentrification. I think it's a way that you can make money without actually having to lift a finger. Um, the idea that areas will change where the older retirees and maybe the older homes are being knocked over and replaced with you know, new modern contemporaries homes and really bringing the area up. So there's three things that we look for. First of all, it starts with the area or the suburb. And one way to pick that is actually to look at the weekly family incomes and how they're actually changing over time. At a certain point in time, there was a lot of potentially lower socioeconomic or a lot of retirees on lower incomes. So the incomes are really below or at par with the average for that location. But as the times have gone on and those kinds of people have moved on and away, they're being inundated with the young professionals who are moving closer to the city or their work or, or you know, higher demand locations. They've got maybe double incomes or certainly higher incomes because they're working at a higher level. So there's a real transition there starting to take place. That's the first thing that I look for. The next thing is once you understand that area and suburb, you can actually have a drive around and look at what's going on. I used to be a buyer's agent and I used to really enjoy going down a street and I'd see a house being knocked over here and a $2 million home being built here and people really overcapitalizing because they've got that income and money. And if that's happening four or five times in the street and you've got the little property here around the corner, um, it's growing in value. The land value is getting more scarce and rare. The final thing you'll start to notice is that uh, the, the shops and, and the you know, local area is really starting to change as well to cater for that type of demographic who are looking for coffee shops, you know, restaurants, boutique areas and things like that. There's not just one or two different areas. There's, there's probably four or five warehouses are being replaced by boutique breweries. Um, the local butcher is now an organic butcher. There are plenty of places for your avocado and toast and lattes as well. So that starts to shift and it's a really good indication that gentrification is well and truly underway. So that's something you may not have considered when you're looking to invest. You've got to look at ways to make money without lifting a finger or make money by, you know, in, in your sleep. And, and I think gentrification is a really key point that you can look for with your property investment. As you move further and further out into other areas, um, people just don't have the incomes and the ability to, you know, overcapitalize and spend up big and knock down old, ho old houses and things like that. So a real critical point. Thanks for watching.